Where did this song come from? <laughs> you can cut in and out anytime. Right, right. right. <laughs> yeah. Cut. Uh, I don't remember the beginning of how this one started. It just so really, do you have any story to it, really? I feel like, okay, so the lyrically, the story was like, I remember we were, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. We were talking about how, at that time, we were very first working on it, Trump had um, announced this, the Muslim band. The travel band. The yeah. travel band. Yeah. And so we kind of imagined a story about, like, two strangers from different, um, you know, countries that had just recently been banned. Maybe they're students or something, but they're they're on, like, a New York subway and they know that they're like in the same situation as each other psychically, but they're like, they don't actually communicate. So we just kind of imagine these people like falling in love out of like similar circumstances, unsure if they would be deported right. or whatever. It's just this story. Yeah, it's kind of like a psychic love song, um, you know, between people whose futures are uncertain. So it's a lot of lyrics about like, you know, our leaders stir disunity, but I feel you and I feel you deep, like having empathy with people. Yeah. And, with Jewish. solidarity to immigrants. Yeah. And the beat, we want it to be like a very like hip hop, kind of slow vibe with this language, and like guitars and you know, fuzzy bass. And I remember that Chris Cody, who produced it, didn't love this track at first, but then he went away for to go Thanksgiving break and came back and was like, that shit was stuck in my head the whole time, so. I like it now. <laughs>